Welcome to our video series on the MS2760A Ultra Portable Spectrum Analyzer. Here I want to give you a brief introduction to channel power, occupied bandwidth, and adjacent channel power measurements. Here I've set up a live 751 MHz uh, LTE downlink to demonstrate uh, these measurements. And the way you get to the different measurements is through the Mode Measure button on the control panel brings up the mode measure menu and I can click between channel power, occupied bandwidth, and adjacent channel power. Picking channel power, I already have this set up with an integration bandwidth of 9 megahertz and limit, limit set and you can see some are passing and failing to, as, the, as the signal fluctuates. If I change the averaging mode to say 100 you can see that will go into pass and fail as the signal modulates up and down. So you can you can set your uh, integration bandwidth, your power spectral density. Integration bandwidth is the only choice we have right now, and then you can decide whether you want the limits to be on or off. Now moving to occupied bandwidth, but going back to the mode measure command, changing to occupied bandwidth, and now measuring the occupied bandwidth. I switch to single mode because it has a hard time sometimes getting the measurement fast enough as the signal is modulating. And you can see here again, have pass fail limits, go to the measure setup. I can say what my percent power I want to capture, how many XDB down I want to capture, and then whether I want my limit limits on or off and set what my occupied bandwidth limit is going to be for a particular measurement. Now to do adjacent channel power, I need to change my frequency and amplitude, I mean my, uh, my span to 50 megahertz. And we'll go back into single mode go into mode measure and change to adjacent channel power measurements and to the measure setup screen where I've already called up my limit setup uh, I can set up my limit setups by calling up an ACP limit setup menu and saying what my channel spacing is integration bandwidth and what my limits are so I already have that set up and you can see some are passing and some are failing you can choose also to whether you want to pass on the relative limits or the absolute limits. So you can see here so difference between passing with the relative limits versus the absolute limits. So that's a quick overview of channel power, occupied bandwidth, and adjacent channel power. Thank you for your time and attention on this video series.